morning so for that work today you will study about you will doing network 5 the title of network 5 five is Eastern Bridge so the objective uh, first using Eastern Bridge to measure the resistance second compare the measured value using Eastern Bridge with color code value third Understand the Wigston Bridge operation and lastly, calculation of errors. So, for the equipment, we have Wigston Bridge and resistors. For the Wigston Bridge theory, you, I'm sure you will, you understand the theory of which the bridge uh, for theory so for today uh, we have you must look at the front panel of which the bridge so refer to the which the bridge front panel This panel number one galvanometer. Galvanometer. This is for balance bridge. Uh, you will look at the front panel of galvanometer. For balance bridge, it indicate zero, zero middle on scale. So number two, zero adjuster. The zero adjuster. Jadi firstly adjust the zero adjuster to mark at zero. Number three, sensitivity adjuster. This is for which the bridge sensitivity. We use middle. You set the sensitivity adjuster at the middle for power switch power switch to you switch to on to on the piston bridge number five range selector range selector a fixed selector for range number five number six range selector indicate measure value having four effective digits Four decade times thousand ohm times hundred ohm times ten and one ohm. B button B for power button, G for galvanometer button, and lastly R X terminal for uh, resistor to be measured. No, eh? no. Internal X power selection switch. If you set to internal, we use battery eh, on which the bridge. And if you set to the external, we use external power supply. Okay, that's all for front panel. Now I will make a de demo for you. Okay. This is the front panel of Western Bridge. First, you must adjust the select range galvanometer to the zero. Okay. Adjust the galvanometer zero. And then adjust this sensitivity to the middle. External internal battery, we use internal battery. This is for range selector. Range selector, we have times 
1 10 power of 1 10 power of 2 10 power of 3 and so on we have four variable range four variable range at the right side time 1 ohm second time 10 ohm third time 100 ohm and lastly time 1000 ohm also it have a unit eh? time 1 2 3 4 5 lastly 10 ok now adjust the range sorry adjust the variable range to 0 and then using the resistor that we have measured to Rx you must determine the suitable multiplier or suitable range eh? by first select to the times 1 press B and G button make sure the pointer of galvanometer indicate 0 eh? sorry indicate the positive side and then adjust the times thousand thousand adjust the time time thousand until the pointer deflect to negative so in this case negative cannot be deflect so conclusion range not suitable so adjust again range and then same procedure adjust time thousand until the pointer deflect to the negative side after the pointer of galvanometer uh, deflect to negative side you must reverse undo one step huh? so the range now suitable after that you adjust the range variable range adjust the variable range until galvanometer indicate the balance balance means zero zero so let adjust the most lowest range the maximum Second variable range maximum and the third variable range. Okay, the needle now move to the zero. Okay, adjust the second. So now bridge in balance condition okay any question <clears throat> now you can determine the value of resistor by calculate the value of unknown resistor or RF by sum of total sum of variable range multiplied by 
range select tau ok so from this experiment you can calculate for tau 4000 plus 600 50 10 so 60 4000 600 and 60 ohm multiple by ha 10 10 that's mean the value of resistor now 40 45 46 600 Okay? Okay, ready? You can go to the practical Yes Please, I'm 